Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Efo Kwekudia, and I'm back again on your screen with another episode of How to Migrate to Canada Through Education. Today's episode is, uh, as usual, I am coming to discuss with you on how to apply to one of the universities in the Canadian province. It is called Memorial University of Newfoundland. I will start with you in about one minute. Please share for other people to also um, benefit from this insightful information. All right. Always remember that so far as you have a degree qualification, you don't need an agent to control the affairs of your future. You can always control, drive your future affairs and make it a reality. All right, so let's wait for one minute and then we will move straight into today's episode. Stay tuned. All right, so if you have an internet connection to your laptop or even your phone, you can do this application all by yourself, all right? All you need is your credit card with the application fee and all your documents that you need to upload on the application portal, all right? So the document that you need is basically your um, undergraduate certificate and your transcript, all right? And also, if you are from an English speaking country, you will need your high school transcript or your certificate that shows that, yes, you have taken your English exams and you are good to go. In the case of Ghana, you will need your WIAC um, certificate to upload for them to exempt you from the english language requirement all right so we will go straight to how to apply to university memorial university of newfoundland so you just go to your google web page and then you just type memorial university of newfoundland but like the way i always tell you guys always make sure that you check if the school is a designated learning institution and how to check it is by going to IRCC. IRCC learning institution to check if that school is part of the designated learning institution that can give you a postgraduate work permit when you finish with your um program all right so the school is located in Newfoundland so we just click on the province and then you can just if you know the school name you can just type the school name here and then we have the school name here so if you look at the far end you see offers postgraduate work permits eligibility program we, we have yes 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 to all their program or all, all their uh, campuses all right so this school is a very good school for international um, migrants who are uh, planning to migrate to canada all right so if you take any course in this school and you finish provided that the, the course is six months and above you will be qualified to apply for a postgraduate work permits where you can continue to stay in Canada and work for a period of between one year and three years, depending on the length of your study. All right. So now that we know that this school is qualified to give you a postgraduate work permit under the designated learning institution, you can now go to the school's website to start with the application process all right so we have memorial university over here we click on it and then we are on their main page 
you will also click on programs and then we have all the various programs but this is not what we are looking for click on become a student You click on become a student if you are looking for an undergraduate program you can click on any of the undergraduate programs and then you look at the various programs that you have but my concentration is on um, graduate programs all right but before we go on uh, the programs that you have we also have to look at the tuition fees for graduate programs all right it is very important that you always check the tuition fee for any program that you any school that you want to apply for all right so these are the summary view of all the tuition fees that they have for all their programs all right this school is one of the schools in the north atlantic province with a very low tuition fee for international students all right so we have graduate diplomas Tuition fee for international students is 6390 the lowest among universities in Canada, all right? Master's program, two years, we have 9666 Wow. Wow. It is even very low as compared to some of the colleges that I have shared, all right? And then we have master's program, one year. It is also 6654 for an international student. All right, so these are the various um, tuition fees that they have for all the summarized programs that they have. And the reason why that we have the tuition fee being very low is because of the location of the school, all right? Um, Inuit Fan Love, Labrota is one of the provinces with very cold temperature, all right? So if you are also planning to go to this school for the purpose of migration you also have to consider the weather condition too as well all right but hey it is it is well taken it and you can stay in that province for about five years and then you move to a very better province all right so now that we know about the tuition fee which is very okay as compared to some of the colleges that i have shared on my on my page you will agree with me that it is not a bad idea to decide to apply to any of their programs and then you move to canada all right so we'll have to now go to the various courses that they have and then we'll check if you would like to apply to any of their programs all right so we have international student over here the far end you click on it and then you come to list of graduate programs all right so we click on list of graduate programs and then we have all the programs over here we have humanities and science we have interdisciplinary and then we have professional programs and we have science programs so whichever one that you really want to apply for you click on all of them and then you choose the particular program that you really want to go for um i will click on professional programs and then I'll see which programs that they have. They have master's program, they have PhD program, they have MBA program, business administration, they have graduate, graduate diploma, and then MBAs too as well. All right, they have a lot of programs, just like any other university that you know. You go through all of them, and then you follow the application process. All right, so um, let me click on one of them let me click on general management all right then we'll look at what he has all right so with general management if you look at the far end over here it's program information degree offered they have msc and then they have phd programs all right so accreditation the msc and phd in management are offered in the faculty of business administration which is internationally accredited by aacsp international all right so 
you also have to look at this route is thesis all right so if you are the type of student who don't want to have anything to do with a thesis course you have to back out from this particular program because most students really don't want to hear or deal with any thesis program at the end of their program all right so if you look at the the, the funding also they have four thousand for msc and then they have fifteen thousand for phd funding means that partial scholarship where they give to students who um, gain admission to this particular program and again to with a thesis program you have to look for a supervisor ahead of time before you even get an admission all right so it is a very competitive one which you have to be very careful about if you go down here too you see the tuition fee for um, citizens who are living in um, the province newfoundland student and then we also have other canadian students who are not living in the province and then we have tuition fee for international students the tuition fee for international students is what i am very much interested in when it comes to the MSc, they are paying 1,074 to 1,611 per semester, all right? It is very, very, very cheap. An additional 10,250 special fees. In a PhD, they have um, 1,499 per semester, plus an additional 12,000 special fees, all right? So, if you really need more clarification you can also request for more information or you visit the department website all right i am not too okay with the thesis program because um, the admission process is very lengthy and it is very competitive um, due to the fact that you have to look for a supervisor all right so we'll go back and then we'll look for another program that is cost based all right so um let me click on management all right so if you look at this program the route is cost based all right so this is not a thesis program so it means that you can apply directly without looking for a supervisor first and it's a full time five semesters that is a uh, a two-year program and it's the um, application deadline is december 1st for four admission um and then um december 1st for four admissions except march 15th 2023 for four 2023 admissions all right so if you are looking for um a school to go in next year september this is the right course for you all right so let's look at the tuition fee over here the tuition fee is uh, 1740 per semester all right it is very cool you can get a job and be applying for the job you can get a job you work and then you'll be paying for your tuition fee um within three months all right here with semester usually is about three months all right so it is very cool program that you can apply for and then you pay while you work all right so if again if you are looking for a more information for this particular program you can request for more information or you can check the departmental website or you can also check more tuition information all right so you can always send them an email and then they'll respond to you okay the minimum admission requirement for this particular program is bachelor degree with a minimum gpa of at least 2.74 on a scale of four four point all right at least two years of relevant full-time work experience letters of appraisal from two references official transcript current curriculum vita personal statement of suitability and for applicant whose prior university instruction was not in English, all right? You have to demonstrate English language proficiency by writing a TOEFL or IELTS exams, all right? So these are the requirements for this particular program. You always go through any of the program that you are very much interested in. And then you, two things you have to look out for, the tuition fee, if it is a tuition fee that you can afford or you are comfortable with, and then you check the 
minimum admission requirement all right so this is it for you and these are all the uh, the uh, various programs that you offer if you are looking for humanity program too you have to go through all these ones and then you select which one best suits your interest interdisciplinary too they have a lot of them and then professional programs they also have a lot of professional programs if you are a science person you can also choose science programs and then you have a lot of science programs as well all right so now that we have gone through the tuition fee and then we have gone through the various programs that they offer and the specific requirements for each program let us go straight to how you can apply for any of their program all right so stay tuned and then we will go through how you can apply for any of their programs All right, so we are coming to watch. How Welcome to, to the School of Graduate apply. Study. All right, so we are coming to watch how to apply to any of their programs with this video. All right, so stay tuned and then watch step by step on how to apply. You can also save this video and when you are ready to apply, you can rewatch it again and then follow step by step on how to apply. All right, please share for other people to also benefit from this particular information all right please application web page here you will find step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply to the school of graduate studies at memorial university please ensure to read all the information on this page before starting the application process so let's get started First, decide when you want to begin your studies at Memorial. Check the relevant deadlines here before filling out your application. Next, you'll need to collect all required application materials and supporting documents for your graduate application. They are all listed under Step 2. To begin the application process, click on the blue Apply Now text under Step 3. Before you apply, you can watch the helpful tutorial videos in Step 4 for more information on applying to grad school, statement of interest, reference letters, and finding a research supervisor. When you are ready to apply, click the blue Apply Now text under Step 3. You will be directed to the application portal. If you have already created an account, please enter your email and password and click the Sign In button. If you have not created an account, please click Create Account on the page or the Create Account tab at the top of the page. If you are creating an account, you must complete all required sections on the Create Account page, including Entry Term, Academic Level, Area of Interest, and Academic Program. Ensure to create and choose a password that is easy to remember. Your password must contain at least eight characters with at least two special characters. Confirm your password and click Create Account. If you happen to receive an error during this process, please try selecting a different password. If the issue persists, please try creating an account using a different internet browser, for example, Edge, Chrome, or Firefox. Your new account will now be pending you will receive an email with instructions on how to activate your account. If you do not receive an email, you can click Resend Activation Email on the page. Please ensure to check your spam email folder as well. Once you have activated your account, you will have to sign in by clicking the Sign In tab at the top of the page. You will now have to enter your email and password and click Sign In. Once you have signed into your account, click the Create a New Application button. Next, you will be directed to the Application Listing page. Scroll down to the Graduate section and select either Start a New Graduate Application for Canadian Students or Start a New Graduate Application for International Students. 
We'll start with an international student application. The application must be fully and accurately completed. Please note, the online application only supports the English language. Next, you'll be directed to the application information page. If the program in which you want to apply for is already selected, click Next. If you would like to apply for a different program than what is selected, click Start a new opportunity here. If you selected Start a new opportunity, choose the entry term, Campus, Area of Interest, and Academic Program from the drop-down menus. In the Area of Interest section, please ensure you are selecting a graduate program, which will be displayed in brackets. Next, click the Submit button. If you are unsure which campus to select, please visit our program pages at www.mun.ca slash become slash graduate slash programs. Please note, most graduate programs are offered at our St. John's campus. Next, you will be directed to the application. Complete all personal information, ensuring your full legal name, including previous last name if applicable, is listed in the correct order, as it appears on your passport or other government-issued ID. Please ensure your date of birth is entered accurately in the format listed. Please note, any fields with a red asterisk are required fields. Under Canadian Immigration Status, select Student Visa if your citizenship is not Canadian and you require a study permit to legally study in Canada. Select Permanent Resident if your citizenship is not Canadian and you have immigrated to Canada. You can review the definitions of full-time and part-time status in the University Diary before selecting this under Student Status. Graduate student status is not determined by the number of courses one registers for. Once all fields are complete, click Save and Continue. Next, complete all fields in the Program Information section. Please ensure you choose the right graduate program. This normally cannot be changed after you submit your application. Please note the correct route, for example, thesis, course, or internship for your program of interest in this section. Refer to the Graduate Program Roots document found on the Apply page via www.mun.ca slash become slash graduate slash apply for details. Incorrect routes may lead to delays in the admission process. You can only be considered for a route available for your graduate program of interest. If you have previously applied to or enrolled in Memorial University, please ensure you enter your MUN student number in this section. You can find this in self-service if you were previously a student, or on a decision letter emailed to you if you previously applied. This will ensure your application is processed quickly and accurately. If you are interested in a thesis-based program, we would encourage you to fill in these sections. Names of potential faculty supervisors you would like to work with, a brief description about your research focus, self-declared average, and the country where your most recent degree was completed. Once all fields are complete, click Save and Continue. Next, you will have to enter your referee information. You will have to provide names and email addresses for all references. Please ensure you contact your references before applying to confirm their availability and willingness to write a reference letter on your behalf. Please also ensure the email address you enter is correct and one actively used by your reference. Please note, references should be able to accurately comment on your ability to succeed in a graduate program. After you submit your application, your references will be sent an email where they will choose to complete a reference form or decline. Please follow up with your references after you submit your application to ensure they receive the email. Once all information is entered, click Save and Continue. Next, you will have to enter all information for your next of kin, which is a family member, relative, or designated person that we can contact in case of emergency. Once all information is entered, click Save and Continue. 
Next, select the type of English proficiency you will be providing. Students who have completed secondary schooling, an undergraduate program or graduate program at a recognized institution where the language of instruction is English are not required to take an English proficiency test. If the institution is located outside of Canada or the United States, applicants are advised to provide a document such as a transcript or letter from their university stating the language of instruction as English. All right, so you see, um, if you really want to have an exemption from English language uh, proficiency, one of the ways is also to get in touch with your university so that they can write a letter that states that you were taught for your um, undergraduate program um, in English, and therefore you do not need um and english proficiency um exams anymore all right so that is exactly what he just mentioned okay so please take note in the absence of your WIAC um, certificate you can get in touch with your university faculty so that they can write an english exemption letter for you all right so let's continue and then um, i will explain with some few things as and when it comes up all right if you will be submitting a letter from your university stating the language of instruction was exclusively English, please select Not Applicable from the drop-down menu. You will be able to upload the letter to the online application portal once you complete and submit your application. If you are a domestic applicant and proof of English proficiency is not required, please select Not Applicable from the drop-down menu. All other applicants will be required to provide minimum scores from acceptable English proficiency tests listed on the apply page at www.mun.ca slash become slash graduate slash apply. Once you have decided which English test you will be providing, please select it from the drop down menu. You will be able to upload your test score report to the online application portal once you complete and submit your application. Once you have made your selection, click Save and Continue. Next, you will be required to complete the post-secondary history section. Please list all post-secondary institutions attended where you have completed college or university courses or degrees in reverse chronological order, starting with the most recent. If you cannot find your college or university using the search tool below, Please enter your complete college or university information under unlisted school name and address. We will require a transcript for each college or university listed here. If you need to add more entries, click the Add Post-Secondary Institute section at the bottom of the page. Transcripts must be uploaded to the online application portal after your application is submitted. Memorial University transcripts are not required. If you are currently a Memorial University undergraduate student, please advise us when your degree requirements have been met or a degree has been conferred by contacting gradapply at mun.ca. If degree completion is not reflected on your transcript, we will require a document such as a letter from the university you attended acknowledging that all degree requirements have been met. Please upload this as grad confirmation of degree awarded. If you are currently enrolled in a degree program, please upload this document when it is available. Notarized English translations are required if transcripts are not issued in English or French. Once you have entered all entries, click save and continue. Next is the Statement of Interest sections. Please ensure that the Statement of Interest section is properly completed, as most academic units place considerable emphasis on this section. You'll find a video tutorial on this at the bottom of the Apply page at www.mun.ca slash become slash graduate slash apply. All applicants are required to complete Section A and Section B. If Section C is not applicable to you, please put N-A in this section. Once all sections are complete, click Save and Continue. 
Next, complete the special circumstances section if there were any exceptional circumstances that may have had an impact on your past academic records. If this section is not applicable to you, please put NA in the field. Click Save and Continue. Next, you must agree to and sign the declaration by selecting Yes and typing your signature. You then have the option to Save Application, which you can come back to at a later time to finish. Preview before submission to ensure all sections of the application are complete, or Submit Application. Please note, once you submit your application, you will not be able to edit it. If you choose Preview Before Submission, you will be notified of which sections need to be completed before submission. Please complete these sections and then click Submit Application. So when it comes to writing your um, um, statement of interest, always make sure that you write it on, on, on a Word document and then you send it to some few people that you know are very good academically and then they can review they can test proof whatever that you have written they can add or subtract some of the things that you have written before you can copy and then paste it on those boxes that the school have provided in the application uh, form all right so do not type directly on the boxes or the spaces that has been provided just like the way we saw you might have grammar error you might have spelling error and stuff like that always make sure that you type in a word document and then you correct all your grammars you correct all your statements you add you subtract you wait a day or two you go back and then you read all your statement of purpose and definitely you are going to have new ideas in order to input into whatever you have written of uh, initially you can also send it to some few friends who you know are very serious when it comes to education and who you know that they are very serious when it comes to your life with respect to education too as well they can read through one day two day three days and then definitely they are <coughs> sorry <coughs> I think definitely they are going to find some new ideas where they can advise you to take this one out at certain things and stuff like that okay so let's go back and then watch the rest of the tutorial next you will be directed to the online application fee payment page please click make online payment next select your payment option either Visa or MasterCard. Enter your credit card information in the fields provided and click Process Transaction. After your payment has been submitted, you will be directed to a transaction approval page. Please click Continue to be directed back to the application page. Once you have been directed back to the account page, you can view the status of your application by clicking Click to check your application status. Next, you will be directed to your application summary page, where you will see that action is required on your file. Please click on Edit under Action and you will be directed to upload your required supporting documents and supplemental items. Supporting documents such as transcripts, confirmation of degree, or resume should be uploaded to the online application under Supplemental Items and Documents. The online application will reflect a file is complete after one transcript is uploaded, but it is the applicant's responsibility to ensure all documents required for their program of interest are uploaded by the appropriate deadline. To review a list of required documents, please visit the Apply page at www.mun.ca become graduate apply. Next, you will be able to upload all of the required supporting documents listed. Please upload a single document for each item listed by choosing the file and selecting Upload. We recommend uploading documents one at a time. Please note, all applicants must upload all required documents as part of the application, regardless of the application status. Please check with your referees to ensure they have received the reference form via email. Once documents have been uploaded, they cannot be removed or deleted. 
Please note, all required supporting documents should be uploaded to the online application portal by the appropriate application deadline date. If your documents are not yet ready or available to upload, you can come back to your application at a later date to upload the remaining documents. After your graduation application is submitted online, it is processed by the School of Graduate Studies and made available to the academic unit for review within one business day. Within one to two business days after submitting your application, you will be able to find your MUN student number in the online application portal under My Account, under My Profile. An email will be sent to you acknowledging receipt of your application and advising you of the option to check your status online. You can log into your account online at any time to track the status of your application. Thank you for watching. All right, so the application tuition fee for an international student is $120, all right? You can convert this into your foreign currency into the country in which you are watching me from, all right? So um, in Ghana, for instance, if the, the exchange rate is nine cities, you just multiply $120 by nine cities, and then definitely you are going to know how much it will cost you to apply to this particular school, all right? Um, permanent residents and Canadian citizens, the application fee is $60. That is what you see over there. But for international students, it is $120, all right? So this brings us to the end of today's session. If you like this video, please share for others to also um, benefit from this important information. Always remember that you can apply for schools in Canada by yourself for yourself and you can be on your way to canada together with your family next year all right thank you and please share i'll see you again and bye bye